friends welcome to Java's kitchen today we are going to do authentic Punjabi recipe that's chicken tikka actually uh, you, as you know Java's kitchen always teaches you all the Punjabi dishes and art of Punjabi cooking because all this tandoori stuff naan and chicken dishes and any kind of tikka dishes or naan or tandoor is everything from originated from Punjab so learn it from Punjabis and you will be glad so simple people try to make it so complicated and I'm just going to teach you the way it is done most popular tapas or any any good restaurant so here is what we need for chicken tikka I have some chicken pieces and then we have to prepare marination for these the chicken pieces are bite sized pieces for marination I'm using about two to three tablespoons of uh, curd I have some leftover curd uh, first of all uh, let's do some seasoning for the chicken I'm just going to sprinkle some salt on this and now everything else I'm going to put in my batter which I'm going to use for marination so garam masala goes in here and then goes over red chili powder if you have Kashmiri red chili powder better use that or even cayenne paper will give a lot of color so I'm going to use a little bit of both. It's a really simple recipe. I, I really uh, get amazed by seeing on YouTube people have complicated it. Cumin powder. Make it this way and you will be surprised by the results. So I'm going to use a little bit carom seeds. Now I also need some oil. About one tablespoon. You can also use butter if you want richness. I have some leftover butter, so in goes butter. And then chilies, I'm avoiding it uh, because my kid will eat it. And then I have ginger, garlic, and a lot of coriander. Everything goes in here. And this is something which Davos and Russian not use just like one tablespoon to three tablespoon of curd. This is gram flour. We are going to mix everything well. If you really like to have the color of orange color of tikka, you can add color. Color. I'm just avoiding that. See how rich our marinade is looking because of all the butter and all the cayenne pepper. So I'm just going to uh, add some lemon at this time and then uh, put my chicken pieces in this uh, we'll let it marinate for uh, if you can do it overnight do it overnight i will just marinate it for a couple hours and then we will proceed to next step okay so this will go into fridge uh, i have decided to keep it overnight for best results and i have some uh, leftover peppers colored peppers and some onions uh, cut it like this so you can use it in your bamboo stick for barbecuing and preparing chicken tikka so I'll continue after refrigerating it for about overnight and then I'll show you the outlooks here is our uh, marinated chicken straight out of the fridge I had one uh, cottage cheese paneer I dropped in that too uh, so uh, it has been resting in the fridge for 24 hours I recommend do it overnight at least for best results so now I have two skewers bamboo sticks which have been soaked in water I'll be putting these chicken pieces on it and any veggies you like I'm doing some peppers and onions and then we are going to roast it okay my squares are ready and I'm going to put it in uh, my counter oven which is at 425 for 25 minutes and I'll check in 15 minutes I will turn the side and base it with some oil or butter because it is a countertop oven so I don't really need any preheating just going to place it here and second one make sure you have a dripping pan to catch any drippings so let's start this and we'll check back in 15 minutes I just finished up basing it with the oil it has been 15 minutes so we'll let it cook for another 15 minutes and then check back
guys here's, here is our chicken tikka straight from the oven look how tender and juicy it is looking it took me 35 minutes because i i basted it in 15 minutes with some butter and spray and now uh, our chicken tikka is ready if you want to have it as appetizer use some onions lemon and sprinkle some chaat masala and now we'll go to our next step of making uh, masala for this so i'll be using this chicken pieces so let's get on to it so guys, uh, we'll do basic uh, curry for our chicken tikka masala here. Go some garlic in the hot oil and then some ginger. Roast for a minute and then add onion. We'll make them translucent. Uh, we'll basically stir fry them for 15 minutes and then add our tomatoes to make it to make a simple gravy for our chicken tikka masala. So our onions are light brown at this time. I'm going to add add some tomato puree. I have already pureed some fresh tomatoes. I'm adding about two tomatoes puree. So let it cook for another five minutes. Uh, puree basically helps to fasten the process. And then we'll add our uh, basic masala condiments. And then we'll drop in our uh, barbecued veggies and chicken tikka. So our masala is ready, it has started leaving oils on the side. This is uh, the paste like consistency we are looking for our masala gravy. And now I'm going to drop all over barbecued veggies into it and chicken pieces goes into it and then add a little bit of butter and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes and then our chicken tikka masala is almost ready. At this time also I have to add all the spices, you can adjust according to your spice level. I am just adding the basic spices like salt, little bit, some garam masala or curry masala you can call it and some chili powder, not much. So I will be adding water, mixing everything well and let it cook for 15 minutes. So it has been cooking for 15 minutes, we don't need much because uh, our veggies and chicken pieces were already baked for chicken tikka. So if you want to make your gravy little royal, you can add cream or you can add uh, basically yogurt or even kaju paste, anything. Uh, so I'm going to take it into serving plate. Masala, try it this way. Remember, Java's Kitchen is all about teaching you the art of Punjabi cooking, especially done in an authentic way. Try it out, hopefully, you will like it, and your guest will be asking you the recipe. But don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button below and share your comments. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.